Tonight's headlines, 30 million vaccine doses administered, says Palace. Three countries to commit to donate COVID jabs to the Philippines. Coronavirus cases in the country at 1,857,646. Philippines reports 466 more Delta variant cases. Localized thunderstorms to bring rains in NCR. And PSI slips, peso ends sideways. Good evening. Today is Monday, August 23, 2021. I am Elmer Navarro Manuel and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Malacanang on Monday justified holding events to celebrate the government's milestones in its COVID-19 vaccination program. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque said such events aim to encourage more people to get inoculated against COVID-19 adding that the events are not held in areas that are on lockdown. Roque also disclosed that 13 million Filipinos have already been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. He then encouraged the public to protect uh, themselves, protect their loved ones by getting vaccinated. Vaccine SAR Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. said Monday that three countries have pledged to donate millions of COVID-19 vaccine doses to the Philippines. Galvez said the three countries, which he did not identify, would donate 1.5 million and 1 million doses of Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines, respectively. He also said one country might share 3 million doses. Galvez made the pronouncement at an event in San Mateo Rizal, marking the 30 million doses that have been administered since the country began its mass immunization campaign on March 1. The Philippines has so far received donated vaccines from China, the United States, the United Kingdom, the United Arab Emirates, and the COVAX facility, a World Health Organization-led initiative that seeks to ensure equitable access to vaccines, especially for poorer nations. The Department of Health reported a new all-time high 18,332 confirmed coronavirus disease cases on Monday to bring the total number of infections in the country to 1,857,646, even as three laboratories failed to submit data on time. This brought active cases to 130,350 and of the total, 94.8% are mild, 2.5% are symptomatic, 1.2% are severe and 0.6% are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 1,695,335 after 13,794 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll now stands at 31,961 following 151 fatalities recorded. Data from the DOH also show that 73% of the intensive care unit beds nationwide are in use, while 54% of the mechanical ventilators are occupied. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. opening, millions of paths unfolding, and millions of reasons to keep going. Now's the time to be with a network that gets better every day for you. In 
other news, the health department reported 466 new cases of the highly infectious Delta coronavirus variant on Monday, pushing the country's tally to 1,273. The DOH said 442 of the latest cases are local, 14 are returning overseas Filipinos, and 10 are currently undergoing verification. The local cases were detected in Metro Manila, Central Luzon, Cagayan Valley, Calabarzon, Mimaropa, Bicol Region, Western Visayas, Central Visayas, Northern Mindanao, Davao Region, Sok Sargen, and Locos Region. The DOH added that among the 466 new cases, only one remains active, 8 have died, and 457 have been tagged as recovered. State Weather Bureau Pagasa announced that Metro Manila and other parts of the Philippines will experience cloudy skies with isolated rains on Monday afternoon due to localized thunderstorms. Pagasa also indicated that the southwest monsoon will bring cloudy skies with isolated rains in Palawan and Occidental Mindoro. It added that the southwest monsoon is also affecting the western section of southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Pagasa said the tropical storm Umais, which was formerly called Isang when it was still in the Philippines' jurisdiction, was last spotted at 1,265 kilometers north-northeast. It is packing maximum sustained winds of up to 65 kilometers per hour and gustiness of up to 80 kilometers per hour. And in business, the Philippine Stock Exchange Index ended Monday in the red as investors monitor jumps in COVID-19 infections, but the peso moved sideways against the U.S. dollar. The main equities index shed 41.55 points or 0.63% to 6,591.67 at the closing bell. The broader all shares followed with a drop of 12.76 points or 0.31% to 4,110.96. Pina Capital Development Corporation Head of Sales Luis Lundingan said that PSEI ended on the negative as investors closely watched the rise in COVID-19 cases around the globe and its impact on economic recovery. Volume reached 1.94 billion shares amounting to 6.29 billion pesos. Losers led gainers at 105 to 87, while 45 shares were unchanged. Meanwhile, the peso ended the day at 50.27 against the greenback sideways from its 50.37 close last Friday. That wraps up the stories tonight. And before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, Department of Tourism, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition and Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS users and Google Play for Android users to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viper Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just click on the link in this video to join.